Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be solving the leak code question, minimum depth of a binary tree. All right, so we're going to be given a binary tree and we want to find its minimum depth. The minimum depth is the number of nodes along the shortest path from the root node down to the nearest leaf node. And a leaf node is basically a node which does not have any children. So it's left child and it's right child both have a value of none. So for example, 9, 15, and 7 are all, are all children nodes. But what over here is going to be our answer? So the question again is the minimum depth. So between 9, 15, and 7, we can get to the number 9 the fastest. And in other words, the number of nodes we have to go past in order to get to 9 is 1 over here, so the root node itself. And then this over here is going to be the second one, so we end up outputting 2. Another way to look at this is we can just find out what the current depth we're on is at. So we're going to consider this as 1, and then this over here is at a depth of 2, so we're going to end up outputting 2. Okay, so that should be it for our question, and let, uh, we have this one as well. So let's just uh, see how this looks like as well. So as you can see for this tree over here, so 2, comma, null, comma, uh, 3, comma, null, and you can see the rest. So in this tree, what's happening is that we have everything which is the right child of its parent node. So in this case, what exactly are the tree nodes? We only have one tree node, which is the number six. And what we want to return is how many nodes do we have to get through to get to that number? So in this case, it's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So our answer should be five. So let's just look up and the answer is five. So I'll just go through two different methods of how we can solve this. One of them is a breadth first search and the other is a depth first search. So let's see how both of them look like and yeah. All right, so uh, let's say we're given the exact same tree over here, and I'll go with the breadth first search first because I think that's a lot easier to understand. So over here, we're gonna be using a queue, and I'll just be using a list to represent it. And the first thing that we're gonna have in our queue is going to be the root node, which in this case is three. So we're gonna have the root node over here, and along with that, what we're gonna be having uh, or storing is going to be the current depth that we're at. So we're going to start off with a depth of one. And the reason we're calculating the depth is because that way it's going to be easier to return the number of nodes it takes in order to actually reach a leaf node. So we're going to go over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop out the zeroth element. So in this case, we're going to pop this out. And so currently we're at the node three and we have a depth of one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to check, does it have a left child? So it does have a left child of nine. So over here, what we're going to do is we're going to add this to our queue. So we're going to add nine comma, and what over here is going to be the depth. So the depth actually increases by one. So we're going to do one plus one, which is two. Now, simultaneously, one more thing that we're going to do is we're going to check if it has a right child and it does have a right child. So that's 20. And in this case, we're going to add that as well. So we're going to add 20 and its depth is also two. So in this case, currently we popped it out. So this does not exist anymore. So we're done with one iteration. Now we go on to the next value. So now we pop out whatever is at the zeroth index, which in this case is nine comma two. So when you pop out nine comma two, you're gonna get the node as nine, so which is this one, and the depth is two. But one thing that we wanna notice here is, does it have a left child? It does not. And it also does not have a right child. So in that case, when we do not have a left child and a right child, that means that we are at a leaf node currently. So in that case, when we're in such a position like we are right now, we're directly just going to return the depth. So in this case, we're directly, since uh, nine does not have any children, we're just uh, going to return the depth, which in this case is two. So that's how a breadth first search uh, looks like. And we're going to keep going until we either, uh, until we reach the first uh, leaf node. All right. So now let's look at a depth first search. So DFS. And how this is going to work is we're basically going to split down our tree into smaller subtrees per se. So what we're going to do is a simple logic. How it works is we're first going to look at the entire left side of the tree compared to the root. So the root is three and we're going to look to everything on the left of it. And simultaneously, we're going to look at everything to the right of it. So we can kind of divide it into two different subtrees. So we have nine and then we have one more subtree over here consisting of 20, 15 and seven. And each time we go down one of these subtrees, we're going to be increasing our depth value, value, right? So in this case, what we're going to do, our left subtree cannot be divided furthermore. So in that case, actually what's going to happen is we're just going to end up returning this value. So let's just say it just kept going on. So for example, let's just say we have 20, 15, and seven. 
So what we're going to do over here is we're going to split this further more. So this 20, 15, 7 is one subtree, and we're going to split it further more into a smaller subtree, which in this case would just be 15 and 7. Now by doing that, we're actually going to end up reaching all of the leaves. And now the question is, which leaf do we reach first? And the first uh, leaf that we're actually going to end up reaching is going to be 9, and that is going to have the minimum value in terms of the number of nodes it takes to get to it. So in this case, that's what we're going to out output, which is the number 9. Uh, sorry, which is the number 2, since that's how that's the depth of it. And uh, if DFS doesn't really make too much sense, I think it should be easier to understand once we write the code for it. All right, so I'm going to start off with the breadth first search solution. And how this is going to look like is the first thing we're going to check for is we're going to check if we even have a binary tree. So if the tree is empty, so if not root, it has a value of none, then in that case, we can just directly return zero. And that makes it a lot easier for us. So after this, we're going to over here, we're going to actually establish our queue. So we could use a inbuilt list from Python, but instead we're going to use the queue from collections. So collections.dq. Okay, and the reason that we're using this is because it has faster lookup times compared to a list. Okay, so now we want to add the root uh, node to this uh, queue over here. So to do that, we're just going to do queue.append. And the value that we're going to be adding is going to be a tuple. And it's going to have the root and the depth that we're on. And the depth that we're starting off at is going to be 1. Okay, so now that we have this, we're going to go inside of this while loop. And we're going to stay inside of it until everything in queue is popped. Or, else, or unless we actually return something inside of it. So now that we're inside of this, we're going to pop out whatever is at the zero index. So to do that, using the DQ, we can just do pop left. And that is going to get whatever is at the zero index. Okay, so now that we have this, we actually want to get it into its two values. So we have the node, and the second value was the depth. And that's going to be equal to q.pop left. All right, so now that we have these values, we're going to check whether a left and right node exists. So if not node.left, so in this case, it does not have a, a left node, and not node.right, so in this case, it also does not have a right node, and in that case, we can just directly return the depth. And that means that we've reached to an ending and we're done, right? So that's what we're going to do. Now, if that's not the case, we have uh, two conditions. We might have a left node, so if node.left, then in that case, we want to add that to our queue. So queue.append, and we're going to be appending a tuple again, and the root node over here is going to be node.left. And the depth is going to increase by 1. So to do that, we can just do depth plus 1. Perfect. And now we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to check for the right. So if node.right, and in this case, if that exists, we're going to add it to our queue again, and it's going to be tuple values of node.right, comma, and the depth increases by one again. All right, so that should really be it. So if you submit this, our submission should get accepted. So our submission was accepted, and now let's look at the DFS. All right, so in our DFS uh, solution over here, we're going to be calling our min depth function over here recursively. So let's start off by laying down the few base rules. So first, what we're going to check is, what if we have a null value, same as before? So if not root, and in that case, what we're going to do is we're just directly going to return zero. Okay, so we have this, and now we have one condition where we're at a child. So when we're at a child, it means that uh, we do not have root.left, and we also do not have root.right. So in this case, we're currently at a child, and in that case, we're going to end up returning 1. So when uh, when we're at a child, that means that we're going to have a value of 1 or a depth of 1. And the reason that it's 1 is because, like I showed you earlier, we're just breaking it down into smaller subtrees. So that's why it's going to have a depth of 1. Okay, now over here, we have one of two conditions. So one condition is where, where we have a left child, but not a right child. And the other is where we have a right child and not a left child. And actually, besides that, we have one more condition is when we have both a left child and a right child. Okay, so now let's just see how we can first handle the previous condition. So if not root.right, so in this case, we do not have a right child, but we do have a left child and root.left. So in that case, what's going to happen is we're going to return. And the value that we're going to return is we're going to add 1 to this value over here. And over here, we're going to call this function recursively. But the root over here is going to be root.right because root.left just does not exist. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So let's call this function. So self.min depth. 
and the root over here that we're going to be using is going to be root dot left. All right, perfect. Um, and now all we have to do is we want to replicate this function again, but instead of root dot right, we want it for root dot left. So I'm just going to copy that over, paste it, and over here we're going to have root dot left. So uh, if we do not have a left node, but we do have a right node, then in that case, the root that we're going to be re referring to is going to be whatever root dot right is. Perfect. And now we have our final condition is when we have both a left child and a right child. So in this case, we're going to call our function on both the left part of the tree and the right part of the tree. But which one are we actually going to end up choosing? So what we're going to do is we're actually going to end up choosing the minimum of both of those. Okay, so we're going to have one plus and we're going to take the minimum between self dot min depth. So we're just calling the function on itself and the root over here is going to be root dot left. And now let's call it on the right. Uh, instead, let's just copy this. So self dot min depth and root dot right. And this should be it for the DFS solution. And let's see if this is accepted. Uh, I made a small mistake over here. So this is supposed to be if not root dot left and not root dot right. I'm pretty sure I mentioned that, but I didn't write it. Sorry. Okay, so this should probably fix our problem. So let's submit this. And as you can see, our submission was accepted. So finally, thanks a lot for watching, guys. Do let me know if you have any questions and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.